So if you like to play butterfly guard, but you have trouble sweeping people from the position, then I have a few concepts that could be really, really useful to you. This is something that's been really useful to my butterfly guard game, and it's something that I show to my students. It's been, been useful to some of them as well. So, as always, it's my love assistant, Mr. Adam Wilson. Let me show you these concepts on butterfly guard. So let's take a couple, look at a couple concepts that could be useful to you with your butterfly guard. This is how I look at the position. So again, it could be different to you, uh, but this is how I look at the position and this is how I use it and this is what's been useful to me. So first off, if I'm gonna sweep Adam to my right, okay, that's what we're gonna start with, then we have to get a grip here on the other side first. So we can get an underhook, an overhook, or in sometimes even the belt. And there's other grips that you can use, but these are three really common ones, right? We get that underhook like this we get this high overhook here. When I say high, it's like really high up on his arm, uh, uh, cutting up in the armpit, or we've got a good belt grip here, okay? Any of these are good. The primary function, in my view, um, of this particular grip is to pull the person on top of us. If you wanna look at Adam's body right here, okay? His hips are really important, the position of his hips. Like if I try to lift Adam here, I, I mean, I'm just not gonna be able to. So one of the things that's super important is that I scoot in and I pull him on top of me because once his hips are over top of mine, he becomes very light. And so you can kind of pay attention to his hip position, not so much everything else, but where his hips are. Once his hips are underneath me, it's very easy to sweep him, very easy to get him off the ground. And so a lot of times when we get the underhook here, what are we doing? We're pulling ourselves in, pulling this person up over top of us. If I've got the belt like with an overhook here or here, these again, we're pulling the person up over top of us. Now, the other side, what are we doing over here? The big thing is that we've got to make sure we take away the post. If I'm doing the basic sweep to the side, right, which accounts for a lot of butterfly sweeps. So I've got to take his hand, his elbow, any of that stuff off the mat. And again, the grips can, you can play with them a lot of different ways, right? So for instance, if I've got a secured grip over here, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to grab a wrist, pin it to his body, grab the back of the elbow here, I can grab onto the belt here and pinch just to make sure his elbow can't poke out. As long as he cannot post his hand out, that's what we're looking for. That's what we're trying to do. So we're pulling in and then tucking that elbow out. And then from there, one of the things I think makes a big difference is creating a tilt in the shoulder. So a lot of times what I'll tell people is, imagine you're driving a big truck because you wanna create this tilt in the shoulder. A lot of times one of the things that I've seen is that people rely too much on the butterfly, the kick of the butterfly, which is important, right? We were just talking about getting up under their hips to kick. It is important, but we don't wanna rely on it so much because what'll end up happening is you'll see people, they'll get good grips here and then they'll sit back and they'll kick and it just doesn't work. What we wanna do instead is watch his upper body move, right? Once I get good grips here and I scoot in, notice what's happening with his shoulders, right? He's dipped over to the side here and I can start getting him moving before I'm even kicking and that kick can be so light, it's so much smoother. And so there's a lot of upper body work going on. The position itself, it feels a lot like wrestling to me where I'm grabbing in tight and then rolling. And so again, when we get here, we get the grip, I tuck and roll, pulling the person up. And if you notice, I'm not kicking yet. I'm pulling the person up towards me, pulling him up off of his base, and I can sweep him over. And this is true for a lot of positions. Even think about the scissor sweep, okay? Like when we look at the scissor sweep, this is like a common thing for white belts they mess up. They try to pull and sweep here, right? So what do you do to actually make this work? Well, we gotta begin to pull this person off of their base. Notice the position of where he's sitting, right? If I can get Adam leaning over my belly button right here and get his hips coming over to me, he's way more off balance. When his body is in front of my belt line, that's a problem for me. So a lot of sweeps that, we're, that are being used to where we pull the person over to knock them off side to side, that involves pulling that person up towards you. If I can get that person up over my belly button, it's easy to sweep. Same thing even if he stands. Like let's say if we were just gonna do a basic Tomonagi style sweep or any of these suits where bring the person up over us. If I'm out here, I can't bring him up, right? But if I bring this person in to where he's just over top of my waistline, he's very light, very easy to lift up. And so that principle is alive and well from the butterfly guard where again, we're focused on getting this pull in, bringing that person up over us. And then from there we can lift 
flat as can go. So that is a few different ideas and concepts that you can think about with butterfly guard. I have a few butterfly sweeps on this channel already, but that's one of the things that makes that position work, right? We're pulling that person, we're trapping the other arm, we're getting a good tilt in the upper body and pulling the person over, and then we can sweep them very easily. So hopefully that's useful to you guys. I'm finished. Adam? Adam.